Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Biology and today we are going to continue our study on the animal kingdom and of course the phylum Anthropoda and under the Anthropoda we are looking at the Arachnids, okay, the class Arachnida, alright, this video tutorial is brought to you by the one and only O3 Schools Jam app, okay, before the end of this class I'm going to tell you about the app and why you should get it, it's a CBT app and your exam is a CBT exam, so you must have that kind of app to practice so that I can get used to how to answer CBT questions all right now let's begin with the arachnids this class is not going to be long because this is the last class under the anthropoda that we're, that we're discussing the next episode we'll look at the uh, phylum echinodermata and then we'll now go to the vertebrates uh, of course we are, we'll be done with what with this uh, classification of animal kingdom all right now let's look at the arachnids they include the scorpions you have seen scorpion before right some of you have never seen scorpion so some of you have never seen spider okay and your butters okay so they include what the spider the scorpions the spiders, the ticks, okay, the mites, and what some other ones, okay. Some of the physical characteristics exhibited by these arachnids is one is that they possess jointed appendages, okay. They possess what jointed appendages, and then number two, their body is divided into the head and the cephalothorax, okay. Their body is divided into head and cephalothorax. Now three. They have four pairs of legs, four pairs, four times two, a pair is two, four times two will be eight. So they have what, eight legs in total. All right. Also, they don't have antenna or wings. This, I think this has come out in a jam question before. Okay. Hold on. Well, because after this class, we're going to well, look at the jam pass questions, take some questions from the uh, phylum anthropoda or, and then we are done with phylum anthropoda. All right. Now. You will get to see it. They don't have antenna or wings at all. Please take note of that. They are the class that don't have what antenna or wings. The arachnids do not have antenna or wings. I'm stressing it now. Okay. Now, then they possess two additional pair of appendages. Apart from the jointed appendages that they have, they have they possess additional pair of what appendages. The first pair is called the celestry. Okay. The kelisri. All right. Kelisri. Kelisari, or you can say Kelisari, all right? It's Kelisari, all right? Serve in feeding and defense. This Kelisari serve in what? In feeding, it's useful in feeding and for what? For defense, okay? So they, 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 in case what, they, they defend themselves against impending danger, all right? So the first pair is the Kelisari, we serve in what? Feeding and defense. Then the next pair is the Pedipalps. The Pedipalps, it helps the organism to feed to move and to reproduce. It helps the organism to feed, to move, and to reproduce. And then, of course, spiders have spinnerets at the tip of the abdomen. For spiders, they have what we call spinnerets at the tip of what? Of the abdomen that contains sick glands. In fact, a spider can, can, can produce up to eight sets, eight sets. Of what? Of sick glands that what that what produce was sick that can, that are used for what different what purposes? All right, can secrete up to eight sets of what of sick glands that can produce sick that are used for what different what purposes? Okay, so the spinneret draws sections from the sick glands to produce threads of what of silk to produce threads of what of sick. All right, so arachnids we are not going to do too much like I said. Like I said, they include the scorpion, the spiders, the ticks, the mice, and they have jointed appendages. Their body is divided into the head and the cephalothorax. Four pairs of legs, that's eight in total. They don't have antenna. They no get antenna. I'm drawing your ear now. It's a very important thing to note. They possess two additional pairs of appendages. The first is the chelicerae, which, which helps it what, in feeding and defense. The second is what the pedipalps, which helps the organism to feed to move and to reproduce, all right? I'm going to say spider has spinnerets at the tip of their abdomen that contains sick glands. These spinnerets draw sections from the sick, from the sick glands to produce threads of what? Of sick, all right? So now I'm going to go to the old school jam app to answer questions on the phylum Anthropoda. Like I told you, the old school jam app is all you need to succeed in your exam. It has all, it's a CBT app. It has all the past questions for all subjects in one application. And it has some wonderful features. Like for example, we have the classroom feature, all right? It's a feature where you can watch study lecture notes and take tests according to the jam syllabus. So it has build you. Then it has the question search feature where you can search for question according to topic and the 
And the question that uh, uh, and the question that Jamba said for that particular topic will come out for you to answer. Then we also have, of course, the UTM challenge, the standout, the challenge that conducted for all students that are writing jam for a particular year. So you compete with other students, all right? You win amazing prizes every Saturday, every Saturday. Up to 100,000 Naira in prizes is given out every Saturday. Okay, so we have a lot of challenges till one week. You can competing every Saturday till one week to the main jam exam. So imagine you are participating in that kind of mock exam, that kind of engaging exam. You see that what we'll be getting used to what? Our jam said that question one. Apart from getting used to how Jam said that question, of course, you was you also was be seeing your score release every week. So you'll be able to work gauge your progress. Ah, this week I scored 220. The next week I scored 270. The next one I scored 290. The next one I scored 293. So you see that what you are progressing, you are what you are improving, isn't it? So it's very important to, to take notes. So you must practice vigorously on the app first because the questions are generated by the system. We do not know the question that you are going to see. All right, so please make sure you prepare vigorously and then that will build your confidence for the main exam. Activation of the app is just 3,000 Naira as I time of speaking to you now. It may increase in the future. So your major focus is passing your exam at once. Pass your exam at once. Focus and pass your exam at once. All right, also, uh, activation is just 3,000 Naira. Once you download the app, click on activate. At the top, you see where they wrote buy activation key. Click on it, you see three options for payment. You can use your ATM card to pay online. It's completely safe. It's not scam. Then you can, watch, of course, transfer to the O3D Schools app account. If you are transferring to the O3D Schools app account, make sure you send the receipt to this number on WhatsApp. Just send the receipt to 091-091-21-515246. Just send the receipt. We are going to what? attend to you all right so long you pay you must get activated the only reason why you see some people saying ah, i have not gotten my, they have not contacted us did not call did not call did not send a message so most time we will not know that what they have what they have paid okay even from the app you need to what, send a message filling your depositor's name and send an sms to this phone number also so some people don't do that so please do it and you get your key sent to you and you can be able to practice okay now let's go to the app i have my app here with me all right so uh, let's see some questions on this phylum. Okay. <sighs> okay, so let's see. Uh, this is a 2013 question, question 8. 2013 uh, question, question 8. It said, which of the following describes a characteristics of anthropods? Which of the following describes a characteristics of what? Anthropods. They say, A, the body is not divided into a number of segments. That is false. Okay. The bodies are divided into segments. Then B, the body is covered by cheating. Very correct. Okay. The isoskeletons are what? Covered by what? By cheating. Then C, say the organism finds it easy to grow freely. No. Then D, they say the organism has a pair of jointed appendages. Yeah, they do. Some have pair of jointed appendages. Some people have eight pairs of jointed appendages. So that cannot be what the, the most correct answer. So the most correct answer there is what is that they have what their body is covered with what with cheating. That is the most correct option there. All right, now let's see another question. This is a 2022 question number seven. We said the phylum Anthropoda is divided into dash classes. How many classes did we state in the beginning of what phylum Anthropoda? We talked about what five classes. The is divided into five classes. Okay, and we have seen all of them: the crustaceans, the insectas. Okay, I talk about what the arachnids. Then I talk about the myriapods and what and cellopods. Okay, so we have what, five classes. Please, I don't even need to write them out. We we'll talk about them. We we'll started started talking about the phylum Anthropoda. There are five. All right. So the correct answer there will be D five. So go back to that video. Watch it if you have not watched it. Okay, now, which of the following group of anthropods has no antenna? This was one I was stressing here. Okay, they don't have antenna. Our actions don't have antenna. It's a 2017 question number 10. A 2017 question number 10. Which of the following... Has no antenna, and that is what C arachnids. Don't need to what you will stress yourself. All right, now let's go to uh, okay. This is a 2004 question number seven again. They say insects are considered the most successful among the invertebrates because they a 
they say possess exoskeletons, B, they say survive in various environmental conditions, which should be the correct answer. Because I told you they, are, they have adaptable, adaptable properties. They can survive almost everywhere. Okay? So C, they say have wings for flight. That is not it. They say D, possess the ability to change their forms. Okay? So correct answer there is what? Is B, they can survive in various environmental conditions. So we have successfully what? Done with all with the phylum what? Anthropoda. I will look at all the classes under the phylum Anthropoda. And in the next class, we'll go to another phylum, which is the phylum Echinodermata. And I'll see you in that class. Thank you for watching.